Been so busy since the shooting, you know, we've all been working overtime. Are you any closer to making an arrest? No, oh, I don't think so. Not really. I gotta go, okay? I'll call you later. Don't forget. Hmm, yeah. So you're here to arrest me? No. I'm not. Then get the hell out. Did you just ask me to leave? I'm sorry. Was I rude? Mm. Let me put it to you this way. Olivia is fighting for her life. I'm in aware there. of that. Okay, then you, you you should be aware that this is a family situation. Okay. We we don't need you and your questions. I'm or not here like to it. ask any then questions. Then leave, Sonny. What? I asked her to come. Why? So I could figure out who shot my mother. I think this is the time and place. I'm not having a press conference here, Sonny. I just want to talk to the commissioner for a few minutes. How's your mom? She's the same. Why don't you go in and see her? I'll be in there in a few minutes. I'm sorry about Sonny. Oh, please. How are you holding up? Uh, huh? I've been better. <laughs> well, this can't be easy. Your father is suspect in your mom's shooting. That's why I called you. I think uh, someone besides Sonny was involved in this mess. Such as who? Carly. Come in. You're not A.J. Quartermain. No, I'm not. I work for him. I'm Duke Lavery. And you are? Ava. Ava Jerome. Did you say Jerome? Yeah. My last name's Jerome. Is that a problem? No. No, of course not. I, 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 I apologize for the uh, strong reaction. One way to describe it. It's just that I worked once with a family and they had the surname Jerome. Well, it's not an uncommon name. Yeah, but it's not exactly a common name. It's possible you're related to them. Victor, Julian, Olivia. Ring any bells? So you think that Carly's involved in this? I don't have anything concrete, but Carly showed up here yesterday. Mm. I didn't even realize it, but Lulu went to look for my mother's doctor, and she saw Sonny and Carly in some heated exchange. He had her, looked like her, she was up against the wall or something. It was intense. Did Lulu hear what was being said? No, she just went off the body language, but she could tell that they were, they were in on something together. Something that went really wrong. Sonny and Carly hate Franco more than anyone. It makes sense that they would collaborate to take him down. Unfortunately, their shooter missed the target. Did you mention your suspicions to either of them? No, Sonny claims no, I, He swears on the lives of his children that he wasn't involved. You believe him? I want to believe him. I mean, I want to believe that... that he would tell me the truth. That if he put my mother in that hospital bed, even if it was by accident, that he would... he would own up to it. Yeah. But whatever, that's me thinking emotionally as his son when I... When I think as a cop, he would he would never incriminate himself. Of course he would lie to me. Yeah. And Carly, what about her? Lilda tried to talk to her. She shut her down pretty quick. I mean, tell me straight here in my grass when it's straws. No, I don't think so. Not at all. Victor and Julian Jerome. Those names mean nothing to me. But maybe I'll look them up. Well, there's no point in doing that. Well, just because I don't know the names doesn't mean we're not related. It's true, but Victor Jerome and his children, Olivia and Julian, they're all dead. All of them? They were in a particularly dangerous line of work. Well, what line of work are we talking about here? This one. Are you following me? Yeah, I just happened to be walking by. And what, decided to make me feel worse than I already feel? Have you spoken to Sonny? Yeah. It was lovely, especially the part where he had the gun pointed at me. Apparently, if Olivia dies, Sonny's going to kill me. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah. I knew you were considering Sonny, but you were looking at Carly, too. Well, look, the, the, the fact that she had dinner with Franco at all, especially the night of the shooting. It's curious. Right? I, I, the thing is, would Carly really want Franco murdered in her own hotel? Of course. It's perfect. She has control of the situation. The room where the gun was fired from, unoccupied. And no sign of forced entry? No. 
and Carly was very cooperative in giving me all that security footage. Mm -hmm. But the side entrance camera was off. Is it always? No. Just that night. Well, this is convenient. Mm. This might not just be a theory. Sonny and Carly might have actually been working together. I think it's very possible. So who's a shooter? It wasn't either of them. I already questioned him. Sean Butler. Do you have any idea how bad this is? She's an officer of the court, for God's sake. Did you tell her that it was my idea? No. Right? She assumed it's Sonny. Right? He says, it's he's who I work for. Thank you. So what happens now? Is she going to the police? She can't. Because she loves you? Because she's Sonny's lawyer. Okay? She hangs me out, it could implicate him, which leads to a conflict of interest and a breach of attorney client privilege. Oh. So she's acting in the best interest of her client. Okay, well, there is that. Well, don't get too cozy. Just because Alexis isn't turning me in doesn't mean I won't. He's one of the good guys. I mean, he helped us with that old Jerry Jacks thing. Yeah, he saved my life. But judging by his actions that night, the night Nicholas was shot, the fact that Sonny had him watching your house, the fact that he pursued the gunman, he's obviously taken Jason's place in Sonny's organization. Yeah. And, and I read his file. He's had extensive combat experience and he's a trained marksman. He's the perfect choice for hit. So what did he say? Well, not much. You know, he denied all involvement. But I could see that it's weighing on him, you know. It's one thing to shoot Franco, but it's something entirely different to shoot an innocent bystander. So what do we do now? Well, we don't do anything. You're going to stay here with your mother. I'm going to go see Carly. See if I can't rattle her cage. Well, these... I'm going to go find a doctor and, and, and Dante, OK? Sonny, Sonny. Yeah? Sonny. Your shirt is covered in blood. That's why. Hey, That's me. why. Listen, listen. When you walked out on the terrace, you thought I was in danger. I wasn't in danger. The, the blood you saw wasn't mine. It was, it was yours. Why did you take that risk? I had to. I would do anything for you. I'll never forget that. Were these Jer Jerome people? They were in the mob? And they were once a very prominent crime family. Hmm. And you worked for them. Not my finest hour. But rest assured, I've gone straight since then. So you say. No, at the insistence of my girlfriend. Ah. Uh, straight and narrow type? The police commissioner type. Well, then you best follow orders. Hers? Gladly. So, you think these, um, Jerome people were involved in that shooting? Hmm, like I said, they're all dead. Or at least that's what I've been led to believe. This conversation has been most enjoyable, but you still haven't told me why you're here. No, I didn't. Tell your boss I stopped by, Mr. Avery. I will do, Miss Jerome. Perhaps our paths will cross again. You're going to turn yourself in? Are you out of your mind? Not really seeing another option. I do. Lots of them. Ones that don't include ruining both our lives. Look, it's the honorable thing to do, okay? The only thing if I have any chance of salvaging my relationship. Would you forget about Alexis? Sean, you can't do this. If you turn yourself in, it's a matter of time before Anna puts the pieces to me. 